the United Nations is appealing for a full $7 billion in funding ahead of the upcoming UN on of Africa pledging conference, scheduled to start later this week. Even though there was no famine declared in the region, the International Rescue Committee, along with the UN, is saying the appeal is necessary to help communities struggling to survive in Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia, facing the worst drought in 40 years. What we would want to see these resources being used for and what we would want to use them for is to promote and to find ways in which we can promote pastoral or agro-pastoral livelihoods, which is, which is adapted to the climate change that we are seeing, which is adapted to the change in their environment. We are also wanting to see a lot more resources going into building community resilience, in building community infrastructure, in building social resilience for communities themselves to be able to cope with these droughts and the longevity of droughts much better than they are able to today. The United States approved nearly 524 million in additional humanitarian aid for the region, aiming to put a spotlight on the extreme effects of climate change. We are able to ensure that the money is going to the communities. The money is going for drilling or rehabilitating a borehole. The money is going for cash transfers directly in the hands of the populations that are affected. The money is going for treatment of the child that is severely acutely malnourished. What we also ensure is to have robust systems of community feedback and community complaint mechanisms, which ensure that community can hold us accountable to the money that we are raising and the way we are working with the communities to meet their needs. The $7 billion aid is expected to help provide new innovative ways to avert future crises in the region and assist local communities.